Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Coconuts. <laughs> Today I'm back here with another video. Just to see by the title today, we're doing my no foundation makeup routine. Highly requested. And I know y'all been waiting for this for a long time, but I'm finally here and presenting y'all with this no foundation makeup routine. I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you guys learn something from this video. If you do, which you will, which you will, I promise you, because this makeup like routine literally takes me to 30 30 to 45 minutes like the one i posted last year i think it was literally like a year ago if i recall correctly it took me about like one one hour and 30 minutes to do that makeup routine with foundation and stuff and this is simplified 30 45 minutes tops 30 on a good eyebrow day make sure you guys like comment and subscribe comment if you did learn something like this video if you do learn something and subscribe if you do learn something because i taught you something like you might as well just stay here so you can get top more stuff from me simple i've already got done my eyebrows and stuff because i cannot do my eyebrows on camera i tried doing it here i just did my eyebrows off camera so everything should be good i feel like that's the problem but if you guys do want to um eyebrow detail to like detail because y'all love how i do my eyebrows on y'all thank you but if you guys want a detail eyebrow tutorial i got y'all i will definitely give that to you guys period but yeah we're just gonna get into this video it's nothing more to say i'm just gonna show you guys what i do no foundation so my eyebrows are already done as you guys can tell already blended it out i used mascara today so if they look a bit different which they kind of do they kind of look crunchy but not really but i use this um maybelline maybelline total temptation waterproof um mascara la girl pro concealer in the color so that's mascara. what i use on my eyebrows the la girl pro concealer and some mascara i usually don't use mascara unless i'm out of my pencil and i usually use this pencil my favorite pencil ever i, I got that from a local boutique but i'm pretty sure you can probably find it online but honestly this is my favorite eyebrow pencil that i've ever used like i need to go get some more matter of fact it was like four dollars i think right it's literally like cream it reminds me of dip pomade in a pencil like and it's just easier to use so convenient it's angled period like the way i'm promoting them but no if this is very beginner once i started getting this um i feel like my eyebrows started to look way much better and but that's what i usually use done with the eyebrows and everything i use on my eyebrows i'm gonna start getting into my base so first i go in with my um elf 16 hour camel concealer in the color ebony um, I'm running out of this, so it's like running low. But what I do with this concealer because it it dries really quick, it dries really quick. But it gets these bags, okay? It gets these bags. I just make a little triangle right here. Not really a triangle, but I only put it like in the inner corner of my eye, not the inner corner, but you know what I mean. Right here above my mustache or on my mustache. I'm saying mustache like. Mm, i do have a mustache but it's yeah we don't call it a mustache we just gonna call it a little shadow put some on my chin like that like so like so and i put some on my forehead like that and this is very red as you guys can see compared to my skin color so i also go in with the radiant cream concealer healthy skin neutrogena in the color espresso deep by the way y'all all my products that i have are in this makeup bag are literally from the drugstore walmart or target or the beauty not the beauty supply um yeah the beauty supply only my concealer my la girl pro concealer is from the beauty supply to be real everything is drugstore literally under ten dollars except my contour stick that i got from um sephora make sure to get my eyelids just like three dots i have to go quick because this concealer literally dries so quick it's probably i can feel it's already dry like it dries so quick i usually do it in portions but i just wanted to show you guys like how oh i almost forgot i'm trying to move so fast and then i also put some concealer right here so this is literally how my base looks and everything literally all the fun i mean concealer that i need to get the look that i like with the light under eye i don't blend this all in i just blend it out 
or blended in but not like blended in because like I said, everything dries super quick. You don't want to, you know? This is the um, e.l.f. concealer that dries really fast. And then it's really hard to blend and then it leaves like a patch on your skin of the concealer that you did not blend out. So you really want to make sure you're moving fast with this concealer. Okay, so this is how the makeup look. You can kind of see how my face is literally like starting to uh, like, you know, form itself and stuff like that. And I just blend this all in until it's seamless and all smooth and clean. The key to my makeup is I want it to look as natural as possible, but I want you to like tell that I have makeup on. I'm really like a light type of makeup now. I used to like, like, all that heavy stuff when I first started and I feel like this is because I first started but now that I'm wearing makeup um just give me that little 30 minute makeup uh tutorial not tutorial you know look <laughs> So now that we have that done, this is literally the base. Going with the little Chestnut LA Girl Pro Concealer again. I just go under my under eye. Put a little bit like that. Lower box of contour. Literally so easy and simple. Y'all see how like this video is basically almost done. Down the middle of the bridge of my nose. I'm doing my makeup different today. I don't know why. Um, we're gonna, we're not gonna do that because I don't want anything to mess up. I just switch up. I just try to figure out like you know what works for me. That's the thing, y'all. If you're trying this makeup routine out, um, the products might not work for you. Just like match you to your best complexion. Accommodate your makeup routine to yourself. You can copy this. Like you really can copy this. Like it's very easy in your own shade and everything. You can copy this but it is easier like if you like accommodate your makeup routine to yourself like if you want to do your eyebrows last you could do it last but i believe i believe that you should do your eyebrows first because it really determines how your makeup should look or your makeup is going to look like and it's literally in the center of your face so if your makeup i mean your eyebrows don't look good then your entire makeup doesn't look good and that's just like reality that's the first thing people usually see like it's in the middle of your face everybody's gonna be looking at your eyebrows don't be doing yourself babes don't be doing yourself but yeah you see how my eyebrows just lifted like oh going with this bh cosmetics but i think this is my sister's and i'm just gonna blend out my nose just straight down in a line going in with my fancy beauty caviar contour stick and when i tell you this is probably the best purchase it was the most expensive purchase out of this makeup bag it was like 30 dollars, but it was definitely worth it because it really does work for dark skins um i'm dark so if i'm saying it works it works and you gonna see that it works see my nose right now it's not contoured at all you finna see the, the finish contour look i just go like this get some product on it i don't like using the contour stick because it's, it's too fat like if it was like a pencil it would be so much easier but it's too fat and it messes it up i like more control so i use a brush and i just like rub it off of there and then i start from like eyebrow and i'm just basically like framing my face and then just creating the nose that i want 
up here. I like my um my makeup to like look snatched and centered. So I like go for like a skinnier nose to like show off more of my bridge, like, you know, to make my bridge pop more. Then I just go in with this. Same brush and just brush up. Keep in mind y'all, I just started contouring like a month ago. So I'm kind of still new to it. If you guys have any tips or anything that I could implement, but I think I did pretty good. You'll see it at the end, but yeah. And I go back in with my concealer to clean everything up, make everything look nice. And I'm gonna go back in with this same brush. I'm not gonna pick up any more product. I'm just gonna art outline the tip of my nose. I'm gonna put some right here. Okay. Okay, so this is a construction of my nose job. Okay, and then we're gonna go in with, I'm gonna go in with this brush that I just concealed with and I'm just gonna blend it out even more very faint and light as you can see these lines are very skinny we gotta stay in between mm, i forgot to put some right here too no job Now that everything is blended, as you guys can see, the concealer literally disappeared. So we're gonna go back in and we're gonna fix it up. Put some like not this, not more, but you know, on the same brush. We're just gonna go back in and define it just a little bit, just a little bit, cause. I kind of want to diffuse it up here so I'm gonna go in with this brush that I used for my concealer earlier on my nose and just circular motions Now that I have my contour done, we're finna go on with the blush. My favorite part, literally. Um, my blush is literally broken and like, there's literally nothing in here, but I make it work. I use this blush. <laughs> this is so embarrassing, but I use CoverGirl. Um, True Blend Soap Flush, High Pigment Blush. In the color, Hot Frenzy. I'm literally, I'm at pan. I'm, I'm at pan. Um, and I'm using um, a Real Technique I don't know what type of brush it is, but this is the brush. Use a flat brush. It really helps. It really helps. Just smile. And then just put some on like the top of my cheeks, literally. It looks like a lot right now, but once I put my um finishing spray on, it's not a look like a lot. So, and I like my blush to like actually show. So, I add more than I need to. And I put some on my chin and my nose. Just for that extra color or pop. And I just go in circular motions and blend it up to my hairline. I really focus on like my cheekbones. I really just focus there because um, when I smile, you'll be able to see it. 
So now that we have that done, I go in with my Beauty Marks, my actual favorite part. And I'm using this Ink Dip Liner Romantic Beauty Professional Makeup Eyeliner. I got this from the um, uh, boutique by my house also. Yeah, you can probably find it online somewhere. I'm gonna just go in with, and fix in my real, uh, what do you call it? My real Beauty Mark. Okay, and then I just go like random. I don't really pay attention to where I put them. I just wear wherever I feel like it that day. But these three right here, always put them there. Okay, so I, I kind of put a lot of beauty marks today. But yeah, my makeup is basically done. So quick, right? And then I go in with my Mari Badescu skincare facial spray with aloe. I got this like two years ago. I think I was using this in my last beauty my last makeup tutorial but i did switch over to a new one but i just haven't repurchased it yet and i've been low-key feeling how this been feeling on my skin so i've been using it oh y'all know i don't be playing i don't be playing about that set of spray because we really need to set everything okay mm, i knew my chin was about to be a little red but we can fix that okay i just dried a little bit and then i go in with my Royal and powder brush. Okay, I go on with the powder brush. And I just blend everything together. I literally set the setting spray. Or blend the setting spray into my makeup. Just pat though. Not too, not, not too serious. Just patting. And like if the blush problem happens, I just blend that out too. It just adds color to you. yes girl yes okay oh so now it's eyelash time so i'm just using these lashes from you can't even see them but i've worn them before but i'm using these lashes from fabu lashes i got this from the um local beauty not beauty supply local boutique too mostly everything i get is from the boutique it's right there it has a lot of convenient stuff like easy simple these how the lashes look very cute Every time after I spray that, my nose gets runny. Like, baby, I just said my makeup. Now you want to be runny? Stop. So I'm about to put my lashes on, and then I'm going to come back to you guys. So I have my lashes on and everything. That's how they look. I don't really like how they look right now. They're like, I hate when I do my lashes, and then they they look different. You know what I mean? Like, they're the same type of lash, but they look different. But anyways, this is the glue I use. I use hair glue. It's lash glue. I don't care. And it lasts longer, so, yeah which is lash glue now for my favorite 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 part is a lip combo i'm going in with this la girl eyeliner black in color black i got this from the dollar tree like literally i'm telling you you can get your makeup from anywhere like you don't have to get big pro big money products you know you could just start small and then once you get into it and you feel like you are good at makeup then you can like start making your way up start small don't waste your money on makeup because you never know if makeup's not for you and stuff or not like for you, but you might not like it and stuff. But these are my lips, regular. And I just line them. I also forgot to put highlight on during this video. I don't know how I forgot to do that, but this is the highlight I use. I got it from Dollar Tree. Yes, Dollar Tree. It's like eyeshadow, very, 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 very pigmented. Um, I'm kind of sad that I didn't have the chance to show you guys, but don't underrate Dollar Tree guys. Like I'm using lip, eye lip liner. From Dollar Tree, don't un underestimate them. Like, so I found that highlighter. I have not gone back to regular. And highlighter. so this is how my um, lips look without any lip gloss or none of that. Okay. And then I'm going in with my NYX Butter Gloss so Lip Gloss in the color Spiked Coffee. I love this lip gloss. So nice. Like, oh, I love this lip gloss. It's just so smooth. It's just everything. It gives what it needs to give, literally. But I think I'm gonna try a different lip combo today because it gives what it gives, like for a little subtle. But I want something that shows like, dang, she got like, what lip combo is that, you know? So I got these lip glosses, I'm gonna try them out. And if they don't work, wipe them off and put this back on, but. <laughs> with this um elf lip liqueur lip gloss in the color wild rose
Okay, I like this. I like this lip combo. It's very cute. It's very. What what lip combo is that? You know what I'm saying? I like it. I like it. And I'm gonna go over with it with my lip gloss. I usually use my Mac to finish it because it gives that real glossy look. It might be in my purse. Okay, it's not my purse, but so we're just gonna use this lip oil. This lip oil I got it from the beauty supply store. Okay, yes, girl, ma'am. I'm very much giving what the fuck I'm supposed to give because I'm I look like a motherfucking delicious motherfucker snack in a motherfucking bonnet, okay? Purr. But yeah, y'all, this is the end of this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something from my highly requested makeup routine. I finally delivered it to y'all. Um, I hope it was what y'all expected it to be. Um, yeah, look at the lips too. Like, look at the lip combo. It's very much giving what it's supposed to give. I makeup period. It's always giving what it's supposed to give at the end of the day. Yeah, this is my makeup look 2022. You already know it's probably gonna change. It's definitely gonna change. I'm already knowing me. Sometimes I do go in with some setting powder if I feel like having that extra you know but today i just want to show you guys the makeup look that i usually do if you guys want the setting powder trick or whatever i could do like a little tiktok some simple you know but thank you guys for watching this video if you guys all enjoyed it if you guys did make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and make sure you guys go check out my instagram you might as well just go see how my makeup looks and pictures when i'm all glams up like i said make sure you guys like comment and subscribe to me if you learned something if you liked seeing me and if you like the makeup look and if you try if you want to try it or if you picked up any products from this video and if you do pick up anything from this video like tips makeup products anything let me know how it goes dm me on instagram or comment down under this video and let everybody else know like how my tips helped you so without further ado we're just gonna get out this video because now i must say there's nothing else to do so yeah she done she she OTF, she get right with the get right or get left hello thank you come again gang 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 gang